All right, I should be live. Can everybody hear me all right? Give me a, give me a thumbs up emoji if, if you can hear me all right and can see me in motion. All right, I think I confirmed myself that I can hear myself all right. All right, a little bit of a pre-show here. How is everybody doing? Have a good weekend. Ready for the week again? It's the end of February, isn't it? So many people tuning in. Thanks so much for, uh, for joining us, joining me. The iron raffle, is that still a thing? I thought it was first come, first serve. I haven't been following it because that stuff, I don't know, it's a little too much for me. Uh, I'm not sure when the end of the stream is. Uh, this is going to end when I'm done with the content, I guess. All right, now that we're going, um, I have something more special for you today. This is, um, this is a bit of an emergency stream. Uh, covering the LZ physics because um, the LZ phase, which is a uh, very similar version of the physics, um, it's coming, I think, tomorrow. And I would like to get some information out there, uh, mostly to dissuade you from buying it or, or to let you know what, um, what you're getting yourself into. Sorry about all the sirens, you know, nothing I can do about that. Um, I, I, I'm i planning on making a standalone review video for the physics, but it's just a lot to get into, so I just want to cover some of the flaws today. So before I do get into the flaws, um, you know, I'll just give you a brief overview. Um, this, uh, this is the LZ physics. <laughs> the alarm is not intentional. I live in Manhattan. <laughs> the police are coming to get LZ. All right. So uh, this is this has already been opened. I've assembled it. So this is not how it comes. Uh, I know it's a little bit janky. We got accessory packs. Um, I have an aluminum plate. We'll get into that later. The keyboard itself. Uh, LZ rag. It's nice, I guess. The weight. We'll get more into this later as well. And then finally we have the wrist rest. Um, more on this later as well. The first thing I want to do is, uh, you know, point out the bag. I like the bag. It's nice. It's fairly sturdy. I think it's just a standard TX fat bag. Um, but I've never had a TX bag, so this feels really great for me. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. So I have an agenda. Let me look through it. All right, first thing I want to cover is the wrist rest. This was super duper cheap. I think it was a $15 add-on or something. It kind of fits in like this. Um, I think it was either $5 or $15. It was surprisingly cheap. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to complain too much about it because it was so cheap. But um, this thing is not very quality. You know, I think these are glued together and this side is coming off and, you know, that's something to be wary of. For the price, it's probably fine, but just know. Um, second thing, aluminum plate. This has got to be one of the worst aluminum plates I've ever seen. 
Let me actually grab uh, no cable. I can't find it, but you'll see what I mean. So this aluminum plate is uh, is red. It, I believe, it is anodized, and it looks like the finish was applied after or or before it was cut. So you have raw aluminum here, and the and the cuts are very jagged. And you can see here, like some of this bleeding out here. I'm not sure how exactly this was made, but this just feels like really low quality. Um, you can see the finish imperfections all throughout the cutouts, and uh, they're just, I don't know. I don't like it. The PCB, uh, I think this is a high knee PCB, it's fine. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't have any complaints. Oh, uh, for reference, the LZ Physics um, in its base configuration is $500. Um, yeah. Third point is the issue with the bump-ons. So the LZ Physics ships with two sizes of bump-ons for some reason. This one and this one. But you'll notice the bigger one doesn't fit. The cutouts are too, uh, too small. And, further, the small ones don't fit because the cutouts are too big. What kind of attention to detail is this? Like, a, a, a tofu does it way better. But, you know, not a, not a major issue, but it's something to keep in mind for $500. Alright, next item, USB shielding. Um, so, USB ports uh, USB Type-C ports, rather, um, have to be uh, inset a little bit so that the cable shielding doesn't peek out. This guy, look at that. Like, is this what you expect from a $500 custom? A KBD fans level mistake? Disgusting. Um, let's see, 550 after shipping, yeah, I, I don't remember how the group I went because I was away. Um, okay, USB shielding is covered, that's kind of garbo. Uh, next thing is screw holes. So a lot of you, uh, if you're like me, might have one of these, uh, you know, comes with bits, uh, works fine on the front ones, um, but the rear screws are so inset deeply that this guy won't reach. So, you know, if you're if you're like a proper person and have real screwdrivers, um, it won't be a problem. But if you're using bits, you're gonna have to get uh, these long boys like I did. So, let's get into it. So let's see. Ends right here. It's almost an inch of length until it meets the screws. It's just, ugh. Um, other thing is the screws are Phillips head. Doesn't really feel that premium. I, I know I know screw heads don't really make much difference, but like it just seems really old school. Oh, there goes the screw. And uh, this is what the screw head looks like.
you know, not even countersunk. Very disappointing. All right. Next on the agenda, um, number six, bottom case, short. Yeah. So this is the bottom case. And this is how the weight goes on. Oh, you're gonna see my face. Wangle it away. So, right off the bat, this wobbles around, there's no cutout for it. This is ridiculous. This Is this really $500 quality? There's no attention to detail here. Um, and that's not even, that's not even the issue. Like this would be fine, um, but there's actually a functional issue here. Um, multiple people on the uh, GeekHack page, as well as myself, uh, can report that the space between this and the PCB is so small that when you press a key, uh, it'll actually short against this stainless steel plate and then um, uh, register multiple keys. Very disappointing. That's, that's an actual functional issue. And some of the people on GeekHack were like, oh, you should just not take off the film that comes uh, pre-installed on the, on the weight. And it's like, if I need to jump through hoops to get the keyboard just to its basic working condition, that's, that's stupid. All right, um, what else? This is the bottom of the plate. Not super nicely finished. There's some kind of dust. Maybe that's mold from my storage. And maybe you can see the f cut here. It seems to be laser cut or something like that. It won't focus. Okay, well, forget it. But yeah, this also this weight doesn't weigh anything. And it's just kind of pointless. I, I wonder why why even put it in. Just put it in to have a weight and that you can put it in a spec sheet. Is that it? Um, let's see. So I guess that's it for the flaws that I found. Um, I, I would say uh, ask on if you're interested in the board, you need to ask uh, on the LZ himself or uh, on the forum post uh, if these issues have been uh, directly addressed. Does the weight change the sound? Um, I don't know. I haven't done sound testing here. Uh, what else? So that's where the flaws. I want to get to the flaws first because that would be the TLDR. There are some other things that I don't like about the board. Um, the first thing was in the original uh, group I, there were no pictures of any prototypes. It was just a couple of really bad renders. Um, maybe, maybe due to all the clout that LZ has, he thought he could get away with it, and he did. Uh, but I think he should hold him to a higher standard. Uh, second thing was on the invoice. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I could not see a price breakdown of all the items. Uh, everything I ordered came out to like seven hundred something dollars, but there's no, there was no bre uh, breakdown. And uh, uh, to make it worse, there was um, uh, apparently LZ made a mistake, and some people were refunded ten dollars. Um, and I'll never know uh, if there were any other mistakes because there was no breakdown. Uh, Third thing is that there's no daughter board. This is um, a USB port right on the PCB. Uh, that feels like it's kind of an old design, especially for a $500 board. Um, and this one's gonna be up to preference, but my preference is that, or my preference says that this seam here is really ugly. This purposeful seam just doesn't make any sense. 
and it looks the worst from the side because you got this curve going on and it just doesn't look purposeful it just it, it feels like a mistake and uh, I saw on the phase ergo um, in, uh, group I that this has been eliminated but that still looks kind of garbage I think um, last thing the USB port cut out Oops. it's just a rectangle like I don't understand how hard is it how, how hard it is to get a real USB cutout going you know this is what I call a USB port cutout this is lazy alright um, what else was I gonna cover yeah so this board is $500 and um, oh I guess I covered a plate for the uh, the aluminum but the uh, the polycarbonate plate is bad as well And here's a good plate. This is from the K, a similarly expensive board, but look at that. Just perfect. This was the same experience for me on the Vega as well. So where is the $500 going? I don't understand. Yeah, it's a bigger board. Um, it's a weirdly shaped board, etc. I can tell you where it's going. Made in Korea. This is a board that's very proud of the fact that it's Korean. Korean flag sticker here. And if this is what Korean customs are, this is what uh, you know, if LZ is saying this is representative of what Korean customs have to offer, then now we know that Korean customs are nothing special. Yeah, I guess uh, that's pretty much it for me. Did I have any other... Um, any other points? How long have I been live? Let's see. Um, I guess I can cover some of the experiences with my board. Um, it comes with two different gasket thingies. Um, no instructions as to if they're harder or softer. When I squish them in my hands, it's really hard to tell. The, the mount itself doesn't really, uh, doesn't really feel anything special to me. It might dampen some of the vibrations or whatever, but uh, it's it's pretty stiff as far as um, as far as uh, polycarbonate plates go. Uh, oh, I guess I just noticed this doesn't have alignment pins, so this can just slide about wherever. And that's... I feel like this is this is 20, 2018 uh, KBD fans design. The TFV2 has alignment pins. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess we can go through the the interest check. Um, I I really dislike that. Uh, LZ is able to sort of get away with such little detail on the interest check. Um, the phase, as you can see, has a smaller little gap. I think it looks better, but it, it still has that really bottom-heavy look, which just seems imbalanced. Um, the other one... 
they're offering some kind of coding. I, I have no idea why they would change the change the, the name. Um, only to international buyers, as in outside of Korea. I wonder why that is. Are Koreans not willing to put up with whatever this is? Uh, at least he has some prototype colors here. Rubber Mount Tech picture is exactly the same as the physics. Um, rubber Mount Technology. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Uh, acrylic Wrist Rest. Oh, it is now $9. It must have been $5 before. It is, nine, it is now 9 Um But yeah. Is it more expensive? 544 Is that more than before? Limit two per person, as if anyone would want even one. Overall, very disappointed with this board. Oh, um, I guess I should compliment something about the board because it does deserve it. I think the layout uh, is the best approach to uh, Alice-like ergo with uh, arrow keys that I've seen. I don't like the the Maja that uh, that have the cluster right like here, and uh, on the regular Alice, I don't really like the the macro or whatever over here because I end up pressing. Uh, Caps lock, tab, and uh, escape over there instead of the right position. Um, let's see. Do you think LZ is able to get away with less IC detail due to the history of delivery product? Seems like we still want detail track record or not. Yeah, LZ uh, is, is a maker from a while ago, and he has a reputation, but it seems like he hasn't kept, kept up with the times um, as far as uh, providing details and... Um, and stuff like that. There was the LZ MP whose design wasn't even revealed until like halfway through the group by. Um, LZ is able to get away with it because he's part of the original Trinity. I guess that makes sense. But you should hold them accountable. I don't like the fact that he can get away with it. Oh, um. This was $500. I think with all of the dumb design choices and everything, I would pay, I don't know, up to $350. What makes this board worth $500? Uh, nothing much. Would you deter people from joining Group by from Korean designer? I wouldn't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna issue a blanket statement because I haven't had. I haven't tried Duck. Uh, I haven't tried Lin. I haven't tried uh, uh, Gion and everything like that. I've only tried TX and LZ here with this board. And TX, uh, it's from a while ago. It's the original TX75. That's not very impressive, but it's also really old. So I don't know if I can issue a blanket recommendation. Um, Monster Gear, yeah, I have no idea what the deal with is with Monster Gear. Are they custom? This should be 250. I think this should be less than whatever the uh, Maja was. People are already trying to pay infinite trade value for OTDs. Um, Lin kind of scuffed too, not gonna lie. <laughs> Overall, I'm really disappointed with this keyboard. And what? Back when I checked uh, Mech Market, which was months ago, I've seen this go for what nine hundred dollars more than a thousand. It's just not worth that much. This versus the Maja. I mean, even though I don't like the layout on the Maja, I think uh, I think probably Maja doesn't even have uh, the problems that this has. Uh, Maja was 309 or 289. That's very good. I always looked at the LZ Ergo, uh, which is the TKL version of this, as sort of my grail board, but that was kind of unattainable. So this, when I saw that it was unlimited, I didn't really uh, check through the design much at all. And I just joined on it because I kind of knew that everyone else was going to do the same and 
the un unlimited was really unlimited, and I was totally right. Um, can you explain the design philosophy of Asian customs having more flair and Western designs having a more tame look? I cannot explain it. I have not heard of the Ava. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really know. Why didn't they do better? What? It only takes... Takes LZ trying to actually use the keyboard to notice that there is a problem with shorting. Does that mean there wasn't a proto made before before the the actual group buy? Yeah, I guess uh, this is all I have to say about the LZ. Um, official recommendation is a do not buy. Um, LZ phase, from a design point of view, I still don't like it. Um, if you do like the design and you want to buy it, you should ask and confirm that these concerns have been addressed and yeah would i consider re interviewing lz uh i'm not really interested what do you think about the wamir k66 i already made a video about it most keyboards are rectangles in ngl correct well this isn't one i do want to show you something Oh god. Zeno. Here's the Zeno. This was $460, so less than the than this guy, but it was, uh, to be fair, a little bit older. It has a similar sort of deep back, and it handles screw holes much better by uh, having these be um, much closer to the surface, and it just uses the uh, longer screws rather than keeping the same length screws and just making the hole deeper. I feel like that's not a good user experience. So does this mean the LZ Ergo is officially worse than the Xeno? Uh, I don't know. Probably. LZ has not and probably will not talk to anyone directly from the USA. Well, that's fine. The scuffed finish in the plate reminds me of the scuffed finish in the R5 Fiel brass plate. The Fiel case also has scratches on the inside and customer super said was normal from anodizing hooks. Uh, interior, I wouldn't worry too much about it. But I guess from a finish perspective, this does look pretty good. No major problems. Um, the texture is pretty fine grain. But, you know, KVD Fans also has that finish. So what makes this special? Really nothing. Uh, what do you think is the best Valley Alice cube? Um, I saw Take Keyboards made a video on that YMDK one or something. If you want, I think you should probably just try out the layout. It's, it's not really game changing, so you should probably try a cheap one. What's that blue marbled case? This is a YMDK resin case that I got in from Mastrop. Uh, but yeah, I guess this was a really short stream, not even 30 minutes. Um, any further questions? I guess I'll stick around for five more minutes. Am I going to go ahead and claim this is a cash grab? Uh, I don't know.
Do I know anything about the EPBT fixing curved space bars? Nope. Could you, you could always take a Dremel to the YMDK wings and make the integrated plate a half plate. Oh, why is it always integrated plate with, with those guys? Um, thanks for the stream, heading out, goodbye. Any percent stream <laughs> speed run. I am shipping the XYZ60 with no packaging. Uh, I'm not paying for it, so, okay. Anything good about this cave? The layout is great. Uh, the, the case that it ships with is great. Any TLDR? Don't buy the LZ face. Um, are you going to do a review on the Switch Couture Alice? I think I'm just gonna sell it. Um, it's just so uninteresting to me, the, the stacked acrylic keyboards. I, I feel like I don't want to spend all the time making uh, an entire video of it. Uh, who is LZ again? The Life Zone Korean custom maker. I think he's been around forever. Um, I'm not paying for the XYZ60 because um, I need to give it back. Do the LED indicators come with the physics? Uh, I don't think LEDs were included. Yeah, I don't. I don't see. I don't see LEDs. Oh man, it took way longer setting up for the stream than the stream took, like an hour. How do you manage your keyboard? I don't have a rotation, I just use whatever's under review. And most others just get uh, neglected. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, the downside to my style of content is that I will probably be on the bad side of every vendor and designer ever. So if I ever wanted to cash out, I probably couldn't. Uh, any upcoming reviews? I am working on the Xeno right now. Traded your physics for a 2.0 ADD. I have no idea. Any, I have no idea about anything about matrix. So you can say 1.2, 2.0, OG, ADD, whatever, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Was my Xeno scuffed? Yes, uh, but not as bad as some of the others, others I've seen. Um. Yeah, now that I've, I mean, the hope is that I can calm down the aftermarket a little bit, but my videos never really seem to, um, never really seem to make a dent in public opinion, so. Oh, it is what it is. Don't you find the policy of not getting review is too restrictive, both on content and revenue on the channel? So the revenue is so small that it's, basically negligible. Um, the review unit policy, so I have so many keyboards and such a long backlog that it doesn't really matter at this point. But uh, if I do get to the point where I catch up and I'm running out of keyboards to make, uh, make, um, make videos about, I may open up the review unit channel. But uh, before I do that, I will be um, discussing that with the viewers in the stream or something like that. I don't have a burning hatred for Alice Sports. I think the layout is pretty good. Um, I appreciate your critical reviews on these keyboards. Thank you. Black Simon also does very critical reviews. Uh, his um, form factor is a little harder to consume, at least for me, because I'm not used to doing uh, watching streams. Uh, but I did watch a couple of his, and they are very good, I think. Um, Cut a review of the Leopold a couple years back. I have not tried the Atom yet. Um, 
All right. I guess we're sort of wrapping up on questions. Uh, recap. Bored, not good, LZ is writing off his clout. Um, IC, not even good, not enough information. Um, this is essentially a two-piece aluminum keyboard with a laser-cut um, stainless steel plate uh, bolted on as an afterthought. And it has an issue where it'll short and register multiple characters. A really um, amateur mistake from such a veteran maker in the community. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this was helpful. Hope it, maybe if you were trying to buy one, maybe I've persuaded you otherwise. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good one and. Good luck and happy keyboarding. See ya.